be very wary of agendas that are pushed in the name of love. Yes, by invoking the word love, all kinds of tyrants and horrible people and even evil people can push crazy, dangerous, destructive agendas. And let me give you some examples. Like this, this young anti-gun activist, David Hogg, he's become an extortion artist and he demanded a million dollars from Publix. He demanded a million dollars saying that Publix would have to donate it to, I, th I think that's what it was, certain causes that he wanted. <laughs> and in order to enforce this, he staged a die-in where all these just brainwashed young people just went into a Publix grocery store in Florida, and they just laid down on the floor and just got in the way of everybody who's trying to shop for groceries. And this, they said it was a victory, and they said it's amazing what we can do with love, or some paraphrased version of that. They thought they were doing this in the name of love. So wait a minute. If you're an extortion artist who demands money from people, and then when you interrupt their business and cost them money and publicly shame them and attack them, that's love? <laughs> really? That's love? Huh. It must be the same kind of love as these... Uh, elitist nonprofit front groups that always claim to be like helping the children right there's all these all these benefits in New York and Washington and places like that all these so-called benefits and if you dig into a lot of these they're not really helping the children as much as they are trafficking the children you know like there's a bunch of pedophiles in those networks and and human traffickers and sex slave traffickers, whatever. But they always have this, this front, this pretty, beautiful, clean front. Oh, it's the Children's Miracle Brigade group or whatever they call it. And they have, you know, they have a, like a banquet and, and everybody shows up in, in the full you know, dresses and tuxedos and formal wear and wealthy people speaking. Oh, how amazing this group is. And then but behind the scenes, it's a bunch of little children, you know, chained up in dungeons. But it's all done in the name of love, isn't it? Beware of people who are pushing things in the name of love. It doesn't mean that they're all fraudulent, because of course they're not. There are actual loving people who are trying to spread some love, believe it or not. I mean, good people. There are, you know, church groups that are trying to invoke real love and so on. But there's so much fake love out there, you know, just like, I don't know, the groups that they're not really into love. They're into abusing children or abusing corporations, but they call it love. There's like pedophiles. If pedophiles are out there arguing, you know, love wins. Why can't adults marry pedophiles? Because love wins. Love wins. You know, three years ago, or whatever it was, they were out there arguing, you know, that, that gay marriage should be legalized. Why? Because love wins. And then when, when gay marriage was legalized, they said love wins. And I'm not against people being gay, by the way. But you continue on now, you fast forward, and, and some of the same groups are arguing for pedophilia with the same reasoning. They're saying, well, if love wins, why can't two people who love each other marry and live together and share the same bed? And you ask them, like, well, one of them is 13. And the other one is 37. You don't see a problem with that. They're like, no, love wins. Oh, I see. So in the name of love, you, you advocate child rape. Oh, okay, I get it. So you're just a pedophile pervert, basically. Who's running, running around claiming love wins. And maybe you're participating in the extortion of public's grocery stores as well. Maybe you're just interrupting corporate businesses, lying down on the floor, acting like you're dead so that other people who are trying to just shop for some milk and lettuce, can't take food home to their kids whom they actually do love because they're trying to feed them, you see. So you're just going to interfere with all that stuff. It's amazing. In the name of love, there's a tremendous amount of evil that is being done in the world. And I almost hate to invoke Adolf Hitler, but, <laughs> you know, I forgot what they call this rule, but Every debate eventually breaks down into 
an Adolf Hitler comparison. But never forget that the Third Reich was promoted by intelligent, informed German people who said to themselves and to each other, basically, they, they were doing this for the love of humanity. That in their minds, they needed to kill off inferior people, even though that list kept changing from time to time. You know, today it's Jews and tomorrow it's Hungarians and, you know, and so on. It's, you know, whatever. It's just whoever, whoever was their target. It, it's Poland now. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, who, who else did he invade? I mean, all the way down through the Middle East, whatever. They were saying, they were saying that love was powering the Third Reich because they were going to create, these are Hitler's words, they were going to create like the civilization of a thousand years or a thousand year empire of abundance and prosperity. Sounds a lot like the love that's being pushed today by the left, doesn't it? Remember, when, when the left puts a gun to your head and forces you to do something against your will, they say that love wins. When they force their system of beliefs on you, violating your liberty, violating your religion, violating your personal rights, they say love wins. So when they go to a Christian baker and they have a gay couple go to the Christian baker and say, hey, we compel you, Christian baker, to engage in artistic expression to celebrate our gay marriage. And if you don't do it, we're going to bring the government here, essentially putting a gun to your head, and force you to do this against your own religion, even at the risk of, of you sinning before God in your belief system. But we, the gay people, we're going to force you to do that because love wins. And they do, and they, and they force they force that essentially at gunpoint. How, how is that love? That's not love. That's coercion. That's tyranny. So you see, when, when leftists invoke love, they mean tyranny. You know, getting back to David Hogg, uh, this, he's a camera hog. He's, a, you know, he's an attention hog. And he's, he's, a, he's a horrible human being. He's, he's nothing about love. He's all about using force and deception and coercion. And he's running an extortion racket but he's doing it in the name of love because he's going to twist your arm. He's going to threaten your business. He's going to demand you pay, you cough up a million dollars. And if you don't do it, he's going to call you evil. But he's doing it in the name of love. <laughs> Give me a break, you sicko. You don't love anything except your own attention. You don't even love your fellow students because you won't let them speak, the ones that, that support the Second Amendment, you know. David Hogg is not about love. David Hogg is about deception. He's about the opposite of love. You know, what's the opposite of God? Satan. What's the opposite of love? Well, depending on who you ask, it might be hate or it might be apathy. But David Hogg does not represent love and light and transparency and godliness. David Hogg represents deception and collusion and coercion and forcing people to do things against their will. That's not love. That's leftism. That's left-wing coercion. That's what leftists believe in. Liberals aren't saying that if you love your gun, you can keep your gun. Liberals are saying that every American should be criminalized and arrested for owning guns so that you should be forced to turn in your guns. And they're going to say, love wins if they disarm all of you. Think about it. They disarm you. They go door to door. They bust in your door, kick in your front door, put a gun to your head, and say, give us your guns, because guns are evil. And if you give them your guns to avoid being thrown in prison, they're going to say, love wins. No, love didn't win. Your firearms won. Your, your force won. Your evil government deployment of guns against citizens is what won, which is exactly why we should never give up, give up our guns. You can't let tyranny win. Tyranny is going to be explained as a form of love. Think about it. Hillary Clinton, she, she doesn't say we're gonna, we want to grow a bigger government full of a bunch of bureaucrats and tyrants and confiscate more money from everybody, raise taxes on everybody, tell everybody how to live their lives and punish those who are successful. No. She says we want a society based on equality. Equality. Because love wins. Because equality wins. Well, what does equality mean? It means the government picks winners and losers punishes those who are succeeding, and then subsidizes those who are failing in order to crush innovation, 
and make everybody live in poverty so they're dependent on the government. Love wins. <laughs> yeah, love wins. If you're an elitist, you love it when the masses are living in poverty and have to depend on you for their rent or their food, food stamp program. Love wins, huh? No. It's tyranny that you people are pushing. It's coercion. It's hatred. It's deception. These are the tools of, you know, the devil, frankly. These are the tools of, of tyrants. These are the tools of the Third Reich, the tools of the communist regimes, the tools of Stalin, the tools of Mao. And yes, Adolf Hitler, because you've got to throw him in there too. So beware of people who say that they're helping the world in the name of love, love, while they're twisting your arm, sticking a gun to your head, you know, picking your pockets and stealing all your money, confiscating from you, arresting parents who try to homeschool their children. No, it's in the name of love. No, it's not. You're just a bunch of sicko tyrants. You don't love anything except your own power. You don't love liberty. You don't love freedom. You don't love children. You exploit children. You love your own power because you're a bunch of megalomaniacs. You're a bunch of, bunch of psychopathic, you know, sociopath, power-hungry ass, frankly. That's what you love is your own sick power. You love ruling over other people, and that's what makes you dangerous. And that's why we should defeat Democrats and leftists at every opportunity, even when they're invoking the word love. You know what I love? I love liberty and freedom, and, and sometimes liberty doesn't, it's not dressed up to look all pretty and use you know, formal tuxedos and nightgown dresses. and you know, Liberty doesn't come to you with a false impression of what it is. Liberty is authentic. Sometimes, sometimes different voices, they don't all sound beautiful, but it's real diversity, diversity of thought, diversity of speech. That's love. I love my country. And I love freedom of speech and the freedom to think and the ability to question, especially the, to question the corrupt establishment, the corrupt status quo. That's what I love because I love humanity. And I despise systems of tyranny that try to control and enslave humanity. You want real love? Real love sounds like the Health Ranger report. Real love looks like counterthink.com or natural news or other independent media sources. That's what real love looks like. It's love for humanity, love for liberty, love for truth, love for fellow human beings. That's what it really looks like. We're trying to save lives here. We're trying to protect people from toxic vaccines and toxic pharmaceuticals and mind-altering drugs. We're trying to save people from the crooks and criminals of violent society. We're trying to protect people's right to defend themselves and to protect our national borders, to reject the drug runners and the violent rapists and murderers who come across the borders to invade our country and occupy our country and harm our citizens. Real love looks like sometimes a strong border. Real love looks like independent media. Real love for humanity looks like, you know, eating organic and avoiding toxic foods and toxic medicines. That's what real love looks like. So spread the word for real love for humanity. And think for yourself and question the corrupt status quo. This is Mike Adams, the Health Ranger here for naturalnews.com. Learn more at healthrangerreport.com. Thank you for watching. If you want to support our mission, visit us at healthrangerstore.com for the world's largest selection of lab-verified superfood and nutritional products for healthy living. It's at healthrangerstore.com.